Fuck Donald Trump, nigga. Fuck white people. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the goddamn internet. And today we're gonna be talking about how much I fucking hate white people, dude. Alright, no, but as many of you guys know, I rarely make any super serious videos or anything like that. But recently, some shit has gone down that is honestly just so plain out ridiculous that I felt I should make a video, or at least talk about it, or if anything, at least shed some light on this bullshit going on. And that topic, of course, today involves some super sexy, super lovely, super passionate, extra spicy fucking racism. Yay! Am I right? Who's excited? No! Alright, so as some of you have probably already heard, recently there was some crazy shit that just went down. Check it out, there was this handicapped white kid that was actually, no joke, kidnapped and fucking tortured by four protesters for apparently the hashtag Black Lives Matter movement for 48 hours. And spoiler alert, it doesn't even end there. After they kidnapped him, they fucking live streamed and recorded themselves doing all sorts of screwed up shit to him. They made him drink toilet water, they fucking stomped on him, later on one of them just straight up cut the kid and then Follow that up with fuck white people, fuck Donald Trump, dude. Four black suspects ranging in ages from 18 to 24 tortured a mentally disabled white teen on Facebook Live video, cut him with a knife, and forced him to drink water from a toilet. Bitch ass, yeah, bitch ass, ass nigga, boy. Big fuck bro. Donald Trump, nigga, fuck white people, boy. Fuck, fuck no, white people, bitch. Boy. <laughs> Which, by the way, I don't know if they actually know this or not, but that kid, believe it or not, is not actually Donald fucking Trump. I don't know. Just kind of felt like throwing that out there. Why not? But regardless, despite all the shit that happened with this kid and these motherfuckers kidnapping and torturing this kid as well, that's quite ironically not even the main reason why I'm making this video today. Because despite all this shit being extremely fucked up, really the only thing that really sets this case apart from just a random dude probably named Steven robbing a store and getting shot, or the plethora of other cases of just some fucked up shit going down has to be the actual reaction to this entire thing on both the internet and in real life. Like, check this shit out, guys. After this entire thing eventually somewhat got sorted, one of the head chiefs of Chicago, where this shit actually went down, ended up saying in a press conference after this happened that quote for quote, you know, Kids make stupid mistakes, and I don't really know if it's really a hate crime. Motherfucker, what? Um, not that I'm aware of it, as far as any additional incidents, but I think that, uh, like the commander said, I think some of it is just stupidity. You know, people just ranting about something that they think might make a headline. I don't think that uh, at this point we don't have anything concrete to really point us in that direction, but we'll keep investigating and we'll let the facts guide us on how, how this concludes. Oh yeah, totally man. Definitely not a hate crime. I mean, it's not like, I don't know, they, like, kidnapped a handicapped kid and, like, put him in a corner, tied him up, kicked him, and said, fuck white people, fuck Donald Trump, fuck Eminem. I mean, it's totally not like they said that or did that, right? Right? This is fucking a joke. And I mean, it doesn't even end there either. See, right after this shit, of course, we got this dude's retarded ass sidekick, who, by the way, is the goddamn superintendent of the Chicago police, saying in a goddamn police conference, Johnson said that the police was still investigating if this was still a hate crime. But so far, there was no indication that it was motivated by either politics or race. Big fuck Donald Trump, Trump nigga. Fuck white people, boy. <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry to burst your delusional bubble, Mr. Fucking Johnson, but uh, I don't know. The people kind of said fuck Donald Trump and I mean I don't know that seems just a little bit political to me just a little bit you know and then they said fuck white people which hmm, I don't know kind of seems a little bit like a hate crime you know a little bit something to do with race maybe like I don't know just some food for thought you fucking idiot Seriously, I can't even believe this. Fuck white people. Yeah, I don't know if that has to do with race. What, what are you saying? Fucking white people are in a race? What? Fuck Donald Trump, nigga. Yeah, I don't know if that has to do with uh, politics at all. What, Donald Trump is a fucking politics? What? What is then? Jesus Christ. 
Alright, no, but seriously, when I saw this shit going on, I felt like I just had to say something about this. Because honestly, this is just getting absolutely retarded, and so many people that are apparently against racism are just completely turning a blind eye to this, and even in some cases, defending the four people that fucking kidnapped the white kid by saying shit like, Ah, he probably deserved it. Yeah, if you honestly think that, I think you deserve to be kidnapped by, like, not this I swear to god, if you honestly think that, then I feel like you should be kidnapped. And I'm not talking about kidnapped by those four protesters. I'm talking about kidnapped by fucking ISIS or maybe some rapist or some guy by the name of Melvin that likes fiddling little girls or something. I don't, this is getting really disgusting. Jesus Christ. I mean, holy shit. What is up with all this Melvin hate? What, what, what's wrong with people with the name Melvin? Like, oh, I don't know. I'm sorry to everyone with the name Melvin. No disrespect, dudes. Alright, no. See, call me crazy, but when it comes to racism, literally anyone can be racist. And I feel like a fucking idiot for even having to say that on a goddamn YouTube video. But when you look at some people and what they're saying about this shit all over the place, it really looks like it just needs to be said once again. Not only white people can be racist. <laughs> And of course, to wrap up this video today, here's a little piece of advice for everyone, alright? Don't kidnap people, don't torture people, and don't be fucking racist. And if you just can't help yourself, and you gotta kidnap, torture, rape, and be racist as shit, well then at least don't fucking livestream yourself doing it, because you'll get caught and you'll look stupid as fuck. Oh, and last but not least, fuck this guy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and if you did, dude, or agreed with anything I had to say today, if you could leave a like on this video, not only would I support the shit out of you and hope every single thing you want in life, even if it's killing a bunch of people at a mall, will come true. But on top of that, if you leave a like on today's video, I will no joke, no scam at all, show up at your house in 20 minutes with some fresh delicious brand new McDonald's just for you and I'm not talking about just a cheeseburger or some dollar menu shit I will have everything in the menu that's right I'll show up to your house with a fucking truck of food and I will just dump it all over you and you will be in heaven you will fucking enjoy it so if you want free McDonald's leave a like on this video this is not a scam at all again 20 minutes if I'm not there uh Money back guaranteed, and um, with that all being said, thank you so much for watching today. I know this video was a little bit more serious than usual, but um, I felt like I just wanted to make... <coughs> <coughs> fucking tater tots. <clears throat> no, but um, I just felt like I wanted to make some points about this and kind of shed some light on it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed once again. And uh, thanks for watching, guys, and all your support. And adios, guys. Peace, peace.